The Outer Worlds is a brand new IP from the uh, original creators of the Fallout franchise, Tim Kane and Leonard Boyarsky. It's a single player um, action RPG and it's a sci-fi, so it's set in the future in a dystopian society. So basically in the future, a bunch of companies got together and they decided space was the new frontier. So they decided to go out and set up the Halcyon colony. They sent two colony ships to establish everything, but one of them mysteriously disappeared 70 years ago. So you've been trapped on that ship, frozen, floating in space all this time. At the beginning of the game, an outlaw scientist finds you, revives you, and says like, hey, this colony has a lot of problems that we need to solve, and it's up to you if you want to help them out, if you want to join the board and climb the ranks, if you uh, just kind of want to go it your own way, you can decide what happens to the future of the colony. It's definitely all about player choice. How do you want to play the game? What sort of story do you want to unfold? It's really based on the character that you customize, and that's, you know, based off of whether you want to play good, neutral, evil, but also, like, your combat style. Do you want to be, like, full-on combat? Do you want to do stealth gameplay? We have a leadership style which is like very companion based it gives them like better combat abilities they'll take more um, healing um, and then you can also do a dialogue uh, character so you can talk your way through sticky situations I think we have a variety of different environments you can go to and we wanted it to be kind of a mid-sized RPG so you get like a really in-depth player experience but it's not so long that you can't finish it we wanted people to be able to finish and then immediately start a new game and make all different choices and a completely different character and see the other side of the story that's all the like awesomely creative minds of uh, Tim Kane and Leonard Boyarsky. Um, and I was just really lucky to come onto the project. Well, I really like our flaw system. I think that's pretty unique um, that I haven't seen in a lot of other games. It's basically like Tim Kane had this idea of the flawed hero, which is as you go through the adventure, because you're the protagonist, as you go through it um, and you experience different things, you overcome trials and tribulations, uh, the game remembers what choices you make and then reacts to that. So if you decide you want to take a lot of drugs, you might become addicted and then you have to keep feeding that addiction. Um, if you take a lot of damage from robots, you develop robophobia, so you have a fear of them, and then further encounters are more difficult because of that. But the nice thing is, is you don't have to take a flaw, you can refuse, but if you do, um, you get an additional perk point right on the spot, so you can advance your skill tree and get like extra bonuses on it because of that. You can actually kill pretty much any character in the game, but then the game will react to that, so there are like risks and consequences. One of the quests is you have to do a lot of work to get two characters to go on a date together, and it's actually really cute and people like that content, but um, one of my coworkers was testing it out and he actually shot one of the characters on the date and her body just exploded into like different body parts all over and the other character got up and was like we need to talk about what you just did and I was like crying laughing and I think the Outer Worlds is definitely like everything you would expect out of an obsidian RPG um, it's very uh, story rich um, a deep uh, world environment uh, really like player driven uh, what choices you want to make, a lot of reactivity, a lot of replayability, huge branching dialogue. So yeah, I think it'll appeal to fans of our games and also bring in new uh, people who maybe haven't tried one of our games before.